morning. Thank you for the opportunity of presenting our study. I have no disclosures. Since the early introduction of the stapling devices in gastrointestinal surgery, uh, uh, the controversy raised about some issues, and specifically talking about ileocolic anastomosis following right colectomies, the controversies about the day sense rate, the bleeding, operative time, postoperative ileus, stricter, and in the case of cancer and Crohn's disease, the rate of disease recurrence. <coughs> there is a relatively old randomized uh, meta-analysis, including 13 randomized controlled trials, five of uh, which were including specifically leucolic anastomosis, and this uh, meta-analysis uh, didn't find differences in overall, in overall leakage rate, local recurrence, and wound infection. However, the intraoperative technical problems and anastomotic stricture were significantly more frequent in staple groups. A more recently Cochrane review, including seven randomized control trials with more than 1,000 patients, found that there was a significantly less leakage rate in the staple group. However, there were no differences regarding bleeding, surgical site infection, hospital stay, and mortality. All the previous studies and most of the literature include or when comparing both techniques, they use the open approach and the information in the literature regarding this issue using the laparoscopic approach is limited. Thus, the aim of our study is to compare the outcome of the end-to-end Hansu and anastomosis versus side-to-side -side stable anastomosis in patients undergoing laparoscopic right colectomy. We perform a randomized controlled trial, so from January 2006 to May 2012, and after ethics committee approval protocol, all patients submitted to laparoscopic right colectomy were prospectively recruited, and we included ileocecal resections. These are the exclusion criteria. We excluded urgent and converted surgeries, patients with Crohn's disease, extended resections, combined procedures, and when the procedure was performed by a general surgeon or supervised by him, and it, he was not include, involved sorry, in the trial. A computer-generated randomization with allocation concealment was carried out. The type of anastomosis was assigned intraoperatively by an independent surgeon that was outside the operating room once the colon was mobilized and was extracted through the small laparotomy and the surgeon was sure that both techniques were feasible. All the patients with end-to-end hand -end anastomosis were included in group one. We performed a single-layer non-observable running suture, and the patients with side-to-side -side staple anastomosis were included in group two. This technique was performed using a two 75 millimeter linear cutters. All the procedures were performed or supervised by staff colorectal surgeons. The primary outcome measure was clinical anastomotic leakage, and the secondary outcomes, operative time, other complications, bowel recovery, bowel recovery parameters, hospital stay, and reoperation rate. To assess the clinical anastomotic leakage, we took into account signs and symptoms, physical examination, lab test, and CT scan. We do not routinely perform CT scans or contrast, contrast radiograph to, patient, to a patient that were asymptomatic. The complications were assessed using the Dindon Clavian score. Assuming an astomotic leakage rate of 6% according to the historical studies, a sample size of 69 patients in each group was calculated to detect a 3% difference in the primary outcome with 80% of power at a standard level of significance. The sample size was adjusted to 73 patients for each arm to allow for an approximately 5% loss of follow-up. We compared the categorical variables using the T-square test and the continuous variables using the student T-test. So from January 2006 to May 2012, a total of 200 
and 30 colectomies, right laparoscopic colectomies, were performed. We excluded 77 patients according to the previously mentioned excluded criteria. So 153 patients were randomized. 74 were assigned to group one and 79 to group two. When looking at the patient data, we didn't find any difference between both groups in terms of age, gender, BMI, ASA status, and the number of previous laparotomies. When analyzing some surgical issues, the number of patients with subarachnoid anesthesia were similar. The indication for surgery, the rate of benign disease and neoplasia, polyp cancer, and the number of ileocecal resections versus right colectomy were also similar. And the number of surgeries performed by surgeons or by residents or fellows were also similar. When looking at the operative time, we found that in the staple group, the time to perform the surgery was significantly shorter, but taking into account the absolute difference, it's only about 21 minutes. When comparing the bowel parameters, we also didn't find any difference between groups, and the hospital stay was also similar. To assess the uh, magnitude of the resections, we look at the pathology reports and we found there was no difference in specimen length average and the number of link nodes retrieved. When analyzing the, the minor complications, we also didn't find any difference between groups and specifically considering the postoperative ileus, it was also similar between group one and group two. When looking at the major complications, we also didn't find any difference between groups. And specifically talking about the primary outcome, there were two anastomotic leakage in group one and four in group two, but this didn't reach significant statistical difference. Their operation rate was also similar between groups, and the mortality rate was also similar one death in the group one related to surgery and one in group two related to surgery and the other one was not related to surgery. So this was not significant. A limitation of this study is that the surgical team was not blinded after the assignment of intervention to measure outcomes during the follow-up. And in conclusion, the operative time of laparoscopic right colectomy is shorter than the staple anastomosis is performed without affecting any of the other postoperative variable. Thank you. Well, thank you for this really very nicely and accurately designed and performed study. Are there any questions? Uh, I, I, yep. Go ahead. Maybe I could ask a question regarding the uh, cost. Um, can you give us an idea about what the uh, difference in cost is? Uh, for the materials, and uh, if you could give some uh, idea whether the 20 minutes of length of stay uh, of uh, operation duration it, um, can be measured in terms of the the cost to the institution. Okay, you take into account the cost of the materials for the staple. Uh, we didn't look at that specifically, but we know that it's it's uh, it's cheaper to make a hand sew and osmosis, and we don't consider the 21 minutes. Uh, a clinically relevant difference, at least, at least in our country, that uh, the, the cost in the operating room don't make the, it won't make the difference 21 minutes. Maybe in our country, yes, but we don't think it's really important. Thank you. Barry? Uh, Barry Salky, New York. Uh, I very much enjoyed your paper. Um, this is really laparoscopic assisted surgery. Uh, it's not, it's not an intracorporeal anastomosis. My, my question is, is are you I would hope that your next comparison would be laparoscopic assisted right colon anastomotic versus intracorporeal. So are you, are you doing any of that? And have you looked at your incision? Most of your incisions, I think, are periumbilical, at least according to the picture I saw. Are you doing any fan and steel incisions? Have you compared fan and steel incision to the umbilical incision in terms of any difference there as well? Okay. You're with the last question, uh, we always make a uh, small laparotomy in the uh, middle umbilical incision. Right. So are you doing any fan and steels to compare? No, no, no. we don't. Okay, no. and you're looking at intracorporeal 
no. anastomoses? We, we make them, but the, mostly the number of, of right laparoscopic colectomies, we, do, we use the, as we, you told us, the assisted uh, laparoscopic colectomy. We perform intracorporeal anastomosis, but the number is shorter, so we did include this in the analysis. It would be for a different analysis. Thank you. Uh, I, I have one last question regarding also the costs again. I mean, you said for the time, 20 minutes is not relevant. It's the same thing in, in my country, Germany, uh, unless we would have another case at the, in the afternoon. But uh, having like $500 for the staplers versus $750 for a running suture, would play a role that my business manager would tell me, you know, take the suture and not the, the stapler. How is your decision in your country? According to this study, the, the, we, one uh, surgeon can rely on the cost to, to select one or other technique. We are still recruiting uh, patients for this trial, so we didn't change our conduct, okay. but probably the cost will uh, change the mind of the surgeon to select one or the other because there are no differences, at least in our study. We think we need more number of patients. Thank you very much. There is no other question. No, I can't see. Then we come to the next speaker.